So my name is Mark Walsh and what I study and teach is how the body affects our mind. Uh, sometimes this area is called embodiment, somatic psychology, the interactions between body and mind, posture, breathing, movement, these kind of things. So today I'd like to study my mobile phone. Um, when we use any piece of technology, we're patterning our movement and our posture. What I mean by that is we're developing a habit, right? A, per a different way of being. Um, now, the thing is, because our cognition, emotions, our whole self is embodied, meaning we're not just in our brain, we're actually our whole uh, way we are is embodied. I mean, we all, this is common sense, really. Like, if you walk into a room and meet a bunch of people, you get that impression from their body, right? Like, who they are, the, how they are today. So, you know, this is... Um, uh, something we all know. Uh, I'm going to look at today at the mobile phone. Yeah, so this this little piece of technology here I use every day. So much I love my phone. It's patterning myself. It's patterning my technology. So let's look at the patterns. Um, so the first pattern is it's 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 bowing my head, right? It's very rare to see someone use a phone like this. So um, you normally we look down at our phones, and the problem there is okay. What does looking down do to us? Well, when do we look down? When we're depressed or submissive. Yeah, when we're usually afraid, of, when we're, so when do we look down? It's either when we're submissive, like, yes, sir, I'll do what you want, yes, sir, yeah, or, we're, or when we're depressed, yeah, the chin goes, oh, I feel, feel low, feel low energy. So actually, that's what I'm patterning in myself when I look down. The next thing is my eyes. So um, you can try this experiment at home. Look, look wide, like you have a wide peripheral vision so you can see far and wide. And then look narrow, like I'm looking at the camera now, yeah. So this is me with a wide vision, so I can see the whole room that I'm being filmed in. Hello. Um, I'm automatically, I feel friendlier. Probably look friendlier too, but I actually feel that in my body, yeah? If I do this, I start to feel um, hateful, actually. So this very narrow vision, uh, we only do this when we're terrified or when we're full of rage, full of hate. Yeah, and that's essentially what we're doing with a mobile phone. We're narrowing our vision. So again, that's what we're patterning. Next thing is, what kind of movement are we patterning? So. Um, we move how we are, I and mean, different people move in different ways, uh, different cultures. Um, the, there's the one kind of movement like this, for example, kind of more flowing, wavy movement. The, the type, however, we're doing on the phone is usually like this. I'm jabbing, yeah? I'm da 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 So what kind of movement is that? Yeah, it's direct, it's um, uh, in this whole movement analysis terms for the type of movement, but basically it's sudden, it's direct, it's hard. Uh, and emotionally it has this kind of accusatory kind of quality. Again, it's to do with anger. So um, when you use a mobile phone, be aware, um, these are the things you're patterning in your body. Basically, anger and submissiveness and, um, yeah, uh, added to this, the general dissociative quality of being caught in the information, being caught in the mental flow rather than in one's body, uh, this could be quite negative. So I, I would recommend um, taking breaks in your phone use, for example, and moving around, looking up, moving in different ways in order to counter that.